So this is a CSL uh, commentary. This is Dalhousie versus Mount Dalhousie here versus Mount Allison. And the reason I this is a I decided that I'd commentate on something that was played. Let me speed this up here. Commentate on something that was played recently. So this was played just this weekend as part of the CSL second season. Dalhousie and Mount Allison are not the top teams in the CSL. If Maybe I should say, CSL stands for the College StarCraft League. So there's colleges all across Canada and the States playing. Uh, these are both Canadian teams playing. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by. Uh, there's, co there's, as you can see, there's observers in here providing their own commentary. So the reason I picked this match is because actually I'm a Dalhousie student currently. So uh, I know some of the people on the Dalhousie team. and. This I knew would be a fairly close match between these teams. Dow's record, again, as I said, this is a Dow, one of Dow's be, uh, best players here playing as the Protoss player. And uh, well, I'm going to speed it up even more just to save time. And this is one of Mount, Mount Allison's player that, um, that I don't know a lot about. They're playing Terran. And they're laughing about rushing here. The Protoss player has gone out to scout. But going into this game, Dow had a record of two wins, four losses. So that's put them fairly low in the division. They probably won't move. The season's almost done. They probably won't be moving on to the playoffs. But again, as I said, I'm a Dal Dalhousie student, so I'm still still supporting them. And uh, Mount Allison's record was one in five. So Dal, two, two, two wins, four losses. Mount Allison, one win, five losses going into this series. So... Uh, slightly favored Dow and you can see there's some idle SCGs here not being used so you can see these are uh, you can see the APMs up here so Dow's player has um, got pretty high I mean there's not a lot to do really with your units uh, this early in the game but what a lot of the good players try to do is they try to uh, just click on things as fast as possible to get their fingers moving, get their fingers warmed up so that when they do have a lot of units to, to micro around the map, they're ready to do so. And it looks like the Terran player is going for an fast scan. So as far as these players, this Dow player, this yellow Protoss, is actually fairly new to the Dow team. His record going in, his name's Alan, his record going in was 0-1. Uh, so he'd only played one other um, match in the CSL previously, which he lost. So as I said, I've heard, I know some of the guys on the Dow team, and I've heard a lot about this player. So there's a lot of high hopes that uh, this uh, Protoss player would would do a lot. And <laughs> people are commenting on all the the idle SCVs for uh, this. There's another one for this Terran player. So it it already looks like there's going to be a strong advantage here. For the Protoss player, and I'm still watching at double speed, and I think I'm not missing anything significant here. I mean, the Protoss player is getting his tech up. He can produce observers. He can. He's mass going for dreams. He's now getting up to second gateway. gateway. He's going to do another expand. So it looks like this is going to be a longer game. It's going to be stretched out. So yeah. So as I said, uh, the Dow player had a record zero, no wins one loss going into this and the Dow player had two wins two losses sorry this the Mount Allison player rather this Terran player had two wins two losses so now there's the observer coming in here to scout he's getting his siege tech up looks like he's gonna plant his siege tanks up here which is gonna provide pretty good defenses from Protoss player I don't know if you're gonna be able to read I'm gonna assume that the resolution is good enough that you can read these messages as they come up uh, there's not a whole lot being saying except it's the you can tell that these two teams they're they're both um, maritime universities Mount Allison's in New Brunswick Canada Dalhousie's in Nova Scotia Canada here comes the Dark Templars and you can tell they're quite friendly with each other the come so that is did not provide sight but the Dark Templar retreated regardless which is really a shame oh is there a which is really a shame that may have been a good time to press but I guess he's trying to be very very cautious here and two tanks uh, I imagine we'll see momentarily these vultures moving out but this player is not uh, yeah I wonder how many I know the Dow format typically all the players get together in uh, a local area 
and so they're all sitting over standing over each other and com commenting so it's possible that this player is well look at his APM it's only 50 APM that's a little bit low even even for me <laughs> someone like myself so that could explain why he's uh, not fully managing all his units here and this could explain again oops here they here come the vultures coming out and no success with that so I would say that uh, with the third expansion here now this is an interesting uh, placement for for a forge he does have another forge down here which he's upgrading so I can assume that these his only plan for that is to provide some kind of wall for this ramp to help protect that extra expansion so this vulture is scouting for expansions I think uh, right now the Protoss player is basically going for a cautious macro game despite the fact that it looks to me like he has the obvious advantage look the Terran supply is at 70 the the Protoss player is already at 100 it's a nice kind of wall here to kind of see anything going by he's got uh, a dark Templar in a shuttle flying around is he gonna try sneaking in the back or is he just no he's just scouting he's just scouting these other expansions there is gonna be another expansion going up in that top corner in a bit <laughs> foreigner SCV is almost dead says one of the people uh, <laughs> whatever that means it's a little distracting I'm gonna keep ignoring the comments because at this speed it's uh, it's hard to commentate and read as well so this Dark Templar, oh yeah, he's going to get at least one tank kill there. Um, so perhaps a little careless on the Terrans player, losing a tank for for a Dark. So th the again, the, the observers are commenting that it looks like there's a, a tank Terran push coming out here. But uh, it will not be surpri a surprise to the Protoss player. There's an observer watching this. So somebody just noted that the uh, Protoss player has built a few uh, uh, High Templars and they're wondering uh, if that's really a good idea. I just heard some <sighs> mines going down and here comes the, the big push. This could be it. Loses all his observers and withdrawals and the comment is this is why he's no longer a B minus player on ICOP is because he he missed my curve his observers there so it looks like there's gonna be a little bit more time but you can see uh, they say APM isn't everything but the Protoss player certainly has an APM advantage in this game and now he's putting up another Nexus so not only is he seems to have map control he seems to have this, the army advantage is 167 supply versus 71 and uh, they, they say you should never call a game too early, but this looks like a very strong advantage here for, for Dalhousie's Protoss player. And how's the time? We've got a little bit of time left. So it looks like the time mermaid might be out soon. What do we got? Still more coming? How many gateways are you pumping from here? We've got four gateways there, another four, so eight gateways there. He's got two more up here, and wow, four. He's got 12. He's now even putting down a couple um, starports. So I, I, the reason I'm hesitating on the star gates, the reason I hesitate on the meters <laughs> is because I've actually been playing a little bit of Star Control 2 lately, and sometimes uh, my brain thinks Star Control, uh, Starcraft. Wow, I'm really embarrassing myself. Sometimes I, <laughs> my brain thinks um, SC2 and not SC1. So there was a uh, command center that they're commenting on that this command center has been here for five minutes um, I guess he's hoping to catch uh, some SCVs on the way over before coming to destroy this which perhaps why he hesitated before coming uh, there's some comment on vultures on the map it's perhaps a little bit hard to watch it at this speed to keep up with everything that's going on but I think this game is pretty much pretty much been over for a bit of time now and it's just a question of, of uh, waiting for this Protoss player to be ready for this big push and I think it's finally coming here now where he's got the overwhelming resources the map control he's got he does have some observers to make sure that he's not 
butt bitten off more than he chews. But he's coming in here, and I believe we're going to see the end of the game here in a, in a second. And this will put Dow up uh, one nothing in the series, and then we'll move on to game two. So here come the storms. He's going to storm some of the supply lines. Storm the supply lines. No storm on the supply. Okay, here they come. Yeah, there go the SCVs, and that's a good game. So that puts Dow up uh, one nothing, and we'll go on to game two.